Hello friends, so today in this video we are discuss this, the even problem from the latest code forces round 726 problem name erase and extend the easy version. So in this problem you are given that you are given a string s and you can do two types of operation. You can either delete the last character of the string or duplicate the string. So whatever string you have at, at hand, whatever string you have at a present time, you can either duplicate it or you can delete out the last character of that string. Now you have to do this operation a number of times such that you have to find out the lexicographically smallest string. Okay. So now that's the problem. Now, as you can see, the constraints are very small. Okay. So what you can do here is like you can in this problem, you can think about this problem also, but the simplest technique can be like you can form. So see the, the main objective can be if you have like if you are given some string, okay, and you want to find out the lexicographically smallest string, what you can do in the simple terms here is like you can delete out some characters and then you will like you will be remaining with the prefix okay i can show you with the example part so you remain with the prefix why you remain with the prefix and why you are talking about the prefix here is see if you have if you are given some string now the like one case can be like keep on like multiplying that string like because you have two operations either you can delete out some part of that string or you can double it okay if you have some string and if you keep on doubling it then okay this this can be one option or one option can be take out the original string and delete the last character and then keep on like multiplying it. okay or you can delete out the last two characters and keep on multiplying those string so as you can see there can be a lot of string in which the number of string can be the total number of prefixes which which you can form see, see one string can be only the first character the second string can be just two characters but two characters is not the possible question the problem is stating that okay the problem is stating that you have to find out the lexicographically smallest string which has exactly k characters okay which have k characters so if you take out one prefix of the original string which has only two characters so what you can do here is just keep on multiplying this up till you have a length of k what i mean by this is let's assume that you have a string which is ABC and you want to uh, like keep on multiplying it such that its length become equal to 7. So what you can do you can you can put ABC then again ABC and then in the last if you again put ABC then the length will become equal to 9. But what you can do here is you can keep on popping out the last character. So if you pop out this character and this character you can left out with this string which is like twice multiplied the original string and then again put the first character. So what you can do here is like you can form every possible uh, string with every possible prefix because that can be done because the constraints are small and then find out the smallest string and that's the whole logic for this problem. I can show you the code part now. So as you can see in this, uh, I can code. take the input of n, k and s, the final length, what should be the final length, the initial length, the string s, then iterate over every possible substring, find out every possible substring of this original string and put them in some answer. Now. For every possible substring, make that substring length equal to k. So I just make this ok function which will take the original string which is stored in s of i like answer of i and make this length equal to k. Now sort the whole area out and print out the smallest string which is the like, smallest string which is the smallest which is just like the starting string. How you can make the string length equal to k? This is the original string n and this is the like the final length which we want. So as you can see like either you can find out how many times this original string had to repeat out and then like how many characters are left you can do that also what you can do it is printed in a cyclically manner cyclically manner like like the first character is this second character is this third character is this the fourth character is this fifth character is this sixth character is this seventh character is this eighth character is this and so on so it's like a cycle so what you can easily do here is because you have to print k times you can do a for loop from one till k okay and then keep on printing like the ith character mod n mod n means that if you go out of bound with n you can go to the starting point so it's like a cyclic pattern and then you can print out the k characters and then that's the answer you can make a new string and you will return out the answer which is actually making the original string actually multiplying it such that the length become equal to k and then you just sort out and print out the answer i hope you understand the logic and the code part it's a very simple problem if you have any doubts you can mention it down i will see you in the next one until then keep coding and bye